on this episode of Flip to Riches. And holy smoke. Birds, a lot of books, newspapers, magazines. It's a six figure flip. What? Man, I was on another level. On this episode, Flip to Riches. The goal of the show, guys, flip to riches, is to flip our way to $1 million. Now, where do we currently stand? With Project Pittsburgh closed, we made $50,000. With Project Skyline, we got another $50,000. And with the most recent flip and the success of Project Union City, we've made $200,000, which puts us at $300,000 for the year. Now, with the goal of a million dollars, we are short $700,000. We got a long way to go, and I hope that this next property we go look at is the one that's gonna put us over the top. You guys know Ray has been cold calling, and he's been dialing, he's been doing it for about six months, and it takes time. These leads take a long time to turn over, and guess what? Somebody actually called him back. He's been working with him for a while. He's finally in town. So we're gonna go be looking at a fixer right here in Daly City, California. All right, cool story about this one. So we talk about driving for dollars all the time. Believe it or not, it works. So my wife was driving through this neighborhood and she saw this ugly rundown house. And guess what she does? I've trained her, right, to look for properties, stop when you see an ugly one, write the address down, and text it to us. Lo and behold, Ray got the number. He called them, followed up for six months, okay? Didn't give up. They came all the way from Paso Robles and the guy said, look, I'm available now, can you meet me? We go there, we look at the property, and man, this is probably one of the worst ones we bought. I mean, in terms of like how much garbage there were inside the house. Actually, six months after I was born, um, night, early 60s. Okay. And my mom's lived in it ever since. Has she done any improvements on it in the 60s? No. No? That's the I would listen pretty much the end. Holy the end of the line right smokes. Here. Now, I've been through a lot of homes and a lot of homes that were filled with junk, but this one takes the cake. We couldn't even walk through the whole property because there was just so much. The owner was actually nice enough to clear a little bit of a pathway for us to walk through it, but. Man, oh man, did I step on a lot of rat shit. The tile brow is crap. The master's pink. What were you seeing in this house? So we were seeing uh, rat poop everywhere. Like, you know, like white specks. Just a lot of random stuff. stuff. Records, a lot of, a lot of books, newspapers, magazines. We could barely walk. We had a, a the really bath, narrow path. The um, toilets were all dried up. And you could just see black stuff inside it, which was kind of disgusting. Uh, you technology. <laughs> Whoa. When you go to houses like this, you have to be careful not to touch anything. Pro tip, you do not touch anything. You make sure your clothes don't touch any beds. It doesn't touch any clothes. I think I came pretty close, but I made sure to do this, you know, to get it all off me. Oh, never really do so. Well, fiberglass on the outside. Uh, that's the only major thing. There's, oh, okay. There is a leak. Not a huge leak, but it's a leak. That could be a big problem, guys, because we're buying these properties with no inspection usually, as is. So we gotta kind of do a little bit more digging to see how bad that leak is. And if it's bad, we're gonna have to rip open that wall, the wall upstairs, and replace a lot of wood. Yeah, we gotta redo the wood. I estimate about maybe ten to twenty thousand dollars that we're gonna have to take off the purchase price when we negotiate with the seller. My dad put the bars on in the seventies. Ray, why don't you go ahead and go look? I'll exit out this way and I'll meet you guys in front. Okay. Cool. I'm already outside. I'm not gonna walk through that house and lock the door, right? So just let Ray do it. You know, I I've done my part. Do you guys have a number in mind? Just because that way. It it's too far off to let you know. Typically with negotiation, you never want to be the first person to throw a price out. So I made sure to ask him, is there a price you have in mind? <laughs> and boy, did he give us a price. I thought he was, I thought I was like, million? You want four or five million? No, nah, he wanted four or five hundred thousand. 
Oh, that's a six-figure flip. Let's go. Good work. Good work, Ray. Super juicy. I, I was so excited. I was like jumping for joy uh, with Brian. I was, I was like writing down all the terms of the offer and I just couldn't believe it. Honestly, I didn't know if it was going to go through or not. Um, just had a little few doubts in my mind, but man, I was on another level at that time. Yeah. So we ended up buying this house. We gave the seller 45 days. We ultimately ended up getting this property for an amazing deal. I mean, I could not be happier with the price and the terms, but there is a catch. The reason we got the property for the price we did was because there was so much garbage. There's that leak. The roof was falling apart. There is literally everything could go wrong so that's why when we made the offer when we agreed on the price we had to make sure that we put all these buffers in there otherwise when you pay too much you open up the walls and you just got yourself into a load of trouble to take whatever he wanted out of the property and that 45 days is up he took everything he needed we had our crew come in and they dumped literally everything in the house. The cool thing about this deal, guys, is that we actually got the seller to do seller financing. Look, there was no point in cashing him out because he didn't need the lump sum. And matter of fact, if he'd gotten the lump sum, he'd have to deal with all the taxes and the capital gains. So instead, we worked out giving him a sizable down payment and he would carry the rest at a reasonable term. This helps him because he still continues to make a monthly income and it helped us because now we don't have to go get hard money to do the property. Let's go over what it looks like right now, what we're gonna do to the property, how much is estimated to cost. Let's go. Let's All right. go. And people say you can't flip houses with money. Look, the truth is you don't need money. You just need access to money. Public now, right? Ricky, 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 Ricky. Welcome to Project Gateway. Whoa. What? It was clean, but there's still some hazards on the floor. I was blown away after taking out all the garbage and getting the crew to remove the stinky, dirty, rat piss carpet. It exposed beautiful hardwood floors, and the house was surprisingly in very good shape. Careful Watch where you step. walk. Yeah. So if you guys remember last time, we walked through the property and we literally had, the owner had made a pathway for us and it was literally like this, right? And then he had an L shape here and there was literally rat droppings everywhere. I think the game plan for this project is just to give it the worst, freshen it all up, replace everything in the kitchen like for like, Everything in the bathrooms, like for like, redo the floors, paint the whole nine yards. Um, we're not sure what to do with the downstairs yet, but um, maybe just clear it out for now and see what you know what to do next. To refinish the hardwood floors throughout the whole house. My guy usually charges anywhere from two to three dollars a square foot to refinish everything, make it more modern, lighter. Yeah. As we're going through the property, we're keeping in mind one thing. And that thing is, we want to remodel the property to make it look beautiful and brand new, but we also don't want to go over the 50% threshold that Daily City kind of puts on you. Because if you do, and they say, hey, you remodeled more than 50% of the home, they will require fire sprinklers and a bunch of other stuff. And fire sprinklers can easily hit you for ten dollars to $15,000 to open up all the walls and redo all that stuff. Yep, we're gonna scrape the popcorn. One, two, three, four, down here. We'll change that to like a nice Amazon uh, chandelier. So it's cheap and that's looking crazy. One thing that we are considering, and I think we have to, upgrade the whole electricity. Let's get all the wiring up the code. The fridge stays here, the dishwasher stays here, the sink stays here, the stove, this we could probably even remove it to put a regular oven. The four recess lighting down this way, but let's check a look at the bathroom. Let me show you guys something. Go ahead and just kind of go in there. Just get some beautiful shit. What the fuck? This is disgusting. <laughs> so for this bathroom, this is the second bathroom. The master's in there. 
We'll try to just save the towel. It's, it looks like it's in pretty good condition. We just need to reglaze it wide. I just talked with Ray and you know what? We're gonna go for the home run on this one. And the only way to get record price is if we remodel the bathroom. So guess what? We're not reglazing anything. We're actually gonna be demoing it and putting a brand new bathroom. The tub looks pretty good from here. Help reglaze that um, too. Switch out the toilet because that thing is disgusting. So we're gonna change every single window in this property. They work pretty so good. Barry Manilow. <laughs> Got some Teresa Brewer. Mexicali Brass. Oh, this is the massive bedroom. This is the biggest room. It's just sweet. It's sweet. Four LEDs, uh, four recess lighting, new windows to really let in a lot of new light. Bathroom is the only thing I'm thinking. New vanity. Everything else, reglaze, clean up. We're gonna go all out. We're gonna go tile from floor to ceiling. That gives you the ultimate luxury feel. Call it a day. Economical guy. Shower. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh god. I haven't, even, I haven't even looked inside. Oh god. Oh yeah, they cleaned everything out. Oh god. My grout guy. He's gonna take care of all this stuff. This side and the one where the garage sits, the stucco is kind of cracking. So that's where we're gonna do a lot of the repairs. The backyard and the side, they're like immaculate. Probably paint the house white, go with a white and black theme. It'll look like a modern farmhouse. Guys. Damn right, modern farmhouse on <laughs> Gateway. Let's rock and roll, guys. Until next time, we'll show you guys the progress. You can put it on, right? How much was that? The party is that, that you know, the, the backer they put on bathroom. I know, but how is he gonna put it on that? Hey, working. <laughs> <laughs> Once you've seen one roof, you've seen them all. What am I gonna touch? The tar, the, the little shingles? What is that gonna do? Nothing, right? We already got a quote on the roof. We already got multiple quotes, so we knew that they weren't really lying to us. So, I mean, I'm not gonna go up there and fall. For what? I'm too valuable to go up. Let them go up. <laughs> so why did you send Ray in? I didn't send Ray. That's his dumb ass fault for wanting to go up that ladder. <laughs> the, the, so the roofer invited me up, and I was like, I can't, I can't turn it down. I gotta look, you know, like a real contractor or project manager. So I went up there, you know. Now, guys, guys, we got gutters now. We got gutters. Got a new roof going up. Little sixteen thousand dollar roof. Overall, guys, we're. I mean, we're kind of ahead of schedule. You know, this one's probably going to be a little bit longer. We're going to take anywhere from four to five months in construction, um, and that's okay. There is tons of work to be done because we just got it started. Um, you know, we demoed everything, cleared it out, but now is the harder part getting all new electrical, the wires in, all the kitchen cabinets and all that takes the longest time. So we got a long trek ahead of us, um, but you know, we'll get through it. And you know, based on our purchase, we're gonna do just fine. Um, I'm pretty happy with it overall. We're gonna spend a pretty penny to shine up this house, but when we removed a lot of the garbage, the house was in better shape than we thought. So we're not gonna spend that much. Two, three, four, five, and then once it grows that little curler, this is gonna be easily over 200 plus thousand dollars in just new electrical, new plumbing, new stucco, new roof. Everything's gonna be new about this house. Finishing up electrical, PJ, come on over here. Brandon's interested. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Why would you guys pick something? All right. Brandon just bought a brand new car, and now he wants to buy a brand new house. And look, whenever one of us wants to buy one of the projects, sure, no problem. The only difference is there's no discount because why? We got to make that million dollar goal. 
Well, you know I'm gonna negotiate. I'm gonna hit the sellers on the head with this one. I need a good rate and a good price, so let's see if they sell it to me. Gotta bust out these windows. They gotta reframe out these windows. Just checking it out, guys. New windows, brand new dual panes going in. This one is a complete remodel. So uh, pretty much from the outside, you can see that it's pretty beat up. It's gonna need new roof, new siding, new windows, and on the inside, just pretty much everything. But uh, we'll know a little more once they can get all that garbage out and see what needs to be done. And we're actually gonna, because all the walls are opened up, we're gonna insulate the walls because Daly City, this part gets really cold and you know it's all about comfortability for whoever buys this place rocking guys we rocking Shit, just put it right here what are we gonna do you want me to help you put it up today no i can do it i came here to bring some sandwiches and some monsters i didn't think i'd be moving windows but we do it all baby lord have mercy all right let me bust my guns out real quick yeah Oh, careful, careful. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hi, yeah, yeah. Don't break the window. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. If you guys are an investors, why do you guys help? Typically, we don't, but look, end of the day, that was a very expensive piece of glass. And when I saw the contractors, they only had like two, three guys, and those guys didn't have muscles like this. Hold on, let me catch my breath. You know what workout that comes in, guys? That's the chest flies. This workout right here. All right, man. My man Yanni, coolest contractor you'll ever meet, but he's gotten so busy, he's gotten so big that we haven't really been using him a lot because he actually started up a dump business, right? Where he just puts a box out front of your property and you throw in all the garbage. He's making more money off that than he is actually fixing and remodeling homes. So now he's not really doing too much of that. So we can't really use him too much anymore. And power. <laughs> Do you like Yanni as a friend? Bro, love Yanni. I'll tell you a little story about Yanni. The reason why Yanni loves us so much is that one time he was driving drunk, got a DUI, needed $3,000 to bail him out of jail. Guess who came? Not me, Brandon, because I was at home. But I made sure that Brandon got the money and got it to Yanni. It's all right. Number three. See, that's the easy part. Once the dolly's gone, Oh, well, we bust out the snakes. <laughs> hey, I make hard work look fun. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, stop. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah, let's go. Thank you. Guys, welcome back to the episode, and it's been a while since we've been back to Project Skyline. Sorry, this is actually Project Gateway. Same, same guys, we got so many projects, I'm starting to lose track. But, we got a lot of new updates. The windows that we were waiting for for so long that was holding up literally everything just came in. You guys have just saw us do all the moving. They're like 400 pound a piece. But check it out, we got most of the exterior painted. We decided to go with black brick, black accent. We always go with the nice little white that we always do and we're gonna go with a yellow door. Take a look on the outside. We, we wanted to make it like aesthetically feel like more of a rancher. So with the new siding, every 16 inch, we decided to go with a two inch little block to kind of give it that feel. It's gonna look really good once that's all painted white. And I don't know if you guys were here last time, but when all the new windows are in, except for the two big ones, of course, but we decided to swap out every single one, dual pane. So now it's super energy efficient. Let's go back inside and show you guys the rest. All right guys, in here we just passed rough electrical. So this is ready to be patched up. Guys, it's only been two months since we closed on this property and this place is looking beautiful. We decided to go ahead and insulate all the walls. Look over here. These are the three big windows that you saw us carrying in. So just imagine with three windows in place, you have direct view of the ocean and it's gonna be phenomenal. That's why we decided to go with just big windows that don't open because ultimately, I don't want anything to obstruct the actual view of the ocean. We decided to go with very big tiles because number one, I hate grout lines because grout lines are very hard to clean and this is gonna make the space feel a lot bigger because they're big tiles. We went with a little bit of a more natural 
kind of earthy gray. But check out at these windows. See some of the older style homes, they have these grids that kind of come like down like brand new water heater, brand new HVAC system. This is gonna be really cool because the old one was kind of the older gravity heater. We got rid of that and we put in this brand new one. It's gonna be much more energy efficient, much more powerful. All right, Brandon, so honestly, do you think you guys are gonna make what you want on this flip? Man, uh, we had some high expectations. I don't know if we're gonna hit that number, honestly. The market has just been all over the place. We're not getting activity. Interest rates keep going up and down and people are scared to buy right now. So uh, we'll see. I think we will. I'm thinking it might be worth 1.4 million after we're done with it, maybe more, just cause it's a four bedroom, two bath. You don't see that very often in like Daly City, South City area. And it's got the great view. So um, I think we will, but let's see where we go. We still have like, you know, nine months plus to go, you know, get through the project. So who knows where the market will take us. We're ready now, guys. Like the windows were literally the last thing that we were waiting for. And now that they're here, we can put them in and then all this stuff can come in. Everything is looking amazing. We are ready to go. The package looks great. But just as we're about to hit the market, we get bad news from the good old Fed. Moments ago, the Federal Reserve raised interest rates for the third time this year. Mortgage rates, credit card Federal rates. Federal Reserve auto. has announced it is raising interest is rates that once again. Raise interest rates again, 10th time in a row. This would be a quarter of a percentage point, and this would essentially be to. On this episode of Flip what to kind of Riches. What did you bring us to today? Maria, smell like piss in here. Dude! This is me. This was not here. PJ, you better watch out. Nut shot! <laughs> Furniture, we don't want to get jacked. Come on, man. 12 o'clock. We're going to get all the offers for Gateway. 10 more minutes. I am a little pessimistic about the market. Four minutes! 